CS2 is turning into Valorant. The new workshop tools are out and skin makers now have many new options to revolutionize skins, but some of them are already looking over the top in my opinion. We already received the Valorant buy menu, but we really don't need Valorant skins too. A very talented skin maker named Strenson just showcased what's possible with the new lighting in CS2 and I really like his work and don't want to offend him, but this arb right here just looks over the top. Now some people may argue that the weep skins like the M4A4 Temukau are also pretty Valorant. I'm I'm expecting at least one red or gold. But in my opinion, it's more about the 3D effects, which give me the wrong vibes. By the way, only 1.4% of my viewers are actually subscribed to my channel, and it would mean a lot for me if we would reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So give it a try, you won't regret it. So my open letter to Valve, please start with fixing the old skins like the Lightning Strike. It would be so cool to see a high resolution version of it and stay to what CSGO skins were standing for. I mean, with the release of the recall case, we have seen what was already possible in CSGO, and some of those look really cool but there are limits because if I want to hold a whole spaceship instead of my orb I would go full uvo mode and install Valorant. Now I don't want to trash talk good work but I feel like it's not really fitting the aesthetic of Counter Strike and we have to see how Valve manages the skin game in the future but I think we can all agree that we want to see a fix for the old skins first before moving to the new stuff. But hands down they got us on our knees and we will probably take whatever they give us till the end. And still a huge shout out to Stranson because the M4A4 Spider Lily is probably one of the best skins in the whole game so keep up the great work like and subscribe if you agree with me and if you don't please also subscribe so i don't cry myself to sleep tonight see ya